Alright y'all, Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 7, I believe this is episode 18. Yeah, 18. So, the link to the full episode is down below in the description box, so go ahead and hit your girl up with the like. Alright y'all, this was actually a pleasant episode. <laughs> it's not much drama to talk about, okay? It's... It'd probably be quick because it, it was. They were. They got. They all end up getting on one accord. So, the girls all headed to Phil the Philippines. Okay, Manila. They asked Phaedra, "Where's Nini?" And um, you know, Phaedra's like, "Well, unfortunately, Nini will not be able to attend this trip because of the blood clots." And um situation she was not cleared. Sounded like a real lawyer. <laughs> and it was all oh, what a good excuse for Nene. I'ma say if you need a, a excuse not to go on a trip, that was a good one. Okay. I agree. If if you getting blood clots from flying too long. I don't think you need to be getting back on long ass 17, 18 hour trips. Okay? So, I, I they say what they want to say. But Nene did have blood clots in her, what was it, lungs or legs? Something like that. But yeah, get over it. They'll get over it. So, they get there. Um, It's Claudia lets them know that it's supposed to be a retreat with no meat and alcohol. And I'm like, wait a minute, no meat? Like, I can see the alcohol, okay? These heifers don't need no alcohol, okay? Because every time they get some liquor in their system, they start cutting up. But no meat? Homie, I start acting funny if I start going with that. <laughs> I start acting real funny if I start going without stuff. Like, if I sweet, you know, meat. I mean, I do in June. I do no meats, but uh, I'll be definitely substituting. But, uh, yeah, so they get there. Phaedra gets the largest room because she's going through the most stuff. And I'm like, okay, I didn't expect. I didn't expect Claudia to do that, but you know what? That was very commendable. And then, you know, Portia ended up picking her sweet. And Portia ends up going to talk to Phaedra. And she was like, so how you feel about being here with all these heifers? And she was like, you know what? It's, you know, it's fine. I'm really shocked that Claudia gave me the biggest room. But, uh, you know, that was really nice of her. And Portia's like, so how are you and Cynthia? She's like, mm, nothing. <laughs> she, she is not trying to give Cynthia the time of the day. So anyways, Claudia ends up talking to Portia, I mean Phaedra, the next day. They end up having this kind of like breakfast together out on the patio. And... Claudia's trying to let Phaedra know, well, look, I know that you are going through things, and I have been through, uh, you know, a divorce or annulment, annulment, Claudia, because y'all was married for about a month, <laughs> and, you know, I end up going through depression, his mother, his family, they were begging me to stay married to him, but I found out he was still in a relationship, so, you know, it was over. And I just kind of don't want you to feel like you're going through this alone. And they kind of, you know, they talking, but Phaedra's like, well, you know, I'm not going to tell you my business now. If it don't jump out the window, I don't know you like that. So, <laughs> oh, oh, Phaedra, no, come on now. You ain't got to say it like that. But they end up talking, and Phaedra ends up opening up, and she's like, you know, it's really hard because I don't want people looking at my sons crazy for what their father did. Aiden is taking it the hardest because, you know, he don't understand that mommy and daddy can't be together, and he's like, 
well, why can't y'all just apologize and, and, and hug it out? <laughs> and she's like, it's really difficult because he doesn't understand. So, she ended up crying it out, okay? And they end up kind of having, like, their own, you know, kumba. <laughs> they end up having, like, it, just really understanding each other. And uh, I'm sorry if y'all can hear background noise. That's what's disturbing me, too. But, um, yeah, so Phaedra and Candy end up going to do a spa day. And Candy's like, you know what, I really just want to know what's going on with you because I went to Dr. Jeff's session and shit you you know he telling me okay so what's going on with you and Phaedra everybody saying that y'all got problems and she was like I want to know what you telling them because you know last time I talked to you we was good and Phaedra's like well I'm not telling them anything you know they called me on a regular and when they call and they ask me, have I talked to Candy? I tell them no. So, maybe they just taking that out of context or whatever. And she was like, yeah, because I don't want you to feel like this. And basically, let it come to the conclusion that they need better communication. Fedra was like, well, you have been on Instagram a lot. You said that you're going through your own things, but I see you on Instagram hanging out with this person and that person. You never asked me to hang out again. And... She's like, okay, well, well, you know, we'll change things. We'll definitely work on our communication skills. So, oh, fuck these niggas. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, they end up all going to dinner, and first they all kind of like good. They Claudia told me how she just snuck some liquor in. And, you know, Kane, like, that's all good, you know, but, uh, where to meet at? She, like, you know what, I snuck some chicken in. So, they started talking about Claudia and the drink, and, and Cynthia's like, oh, this is really light. Taste it. And she has it to Portia, and Portia started drinking. She's like, yeah, this is light. And Candy laughing. She was like, it's funny how y'all wasn't talking, but now y'all drink out the same, out the same cup, like, y'all. You know, y'all come a long way. And then, they start, you know, Claudia starts trying to do her, um, peacemaker shit. And she's like, uh, well, Phaedra, Claudia, I believe Cynthia has something that she wants to say to you. Cynthia starts apologizing, you know what, I'm so sorry that I bring up issues within your marriage that your husband told my husband it was not called for that it's none of my business what goes on in your marriage and I really hope that you can forgive me on that and Claudia's like okay and is there anything Fedra that you want to say to Cynthia and immediately Candy and Portia start laughing because they like, what the fuck is this going on? Like, you know. And somebody tells Portia to, to hush. And Portia's like, well, hold on. I know what you're trying to do. As a matter of fact, it was Claudia. She's like, I know what you're trying to do, Claudia, but I'm a grown ass woman. You ain't got to tell me to hush. Ain't nobody going to tell me to hush. And then, <laughs> and then Kenya kind of like, you know, tries to intervene. And automatically, Portia's like, uh, shh, I'm gonna need you to <laughs> hush. How you gonna hush her, Portia? But anyways, so, while they saying that, Demetrius like, well, wait, this is what I didn't want to have. She's like, well, I wasn't talking to you. I'm like, damn, Portia, you gonna cuss everybody out at the table? And then, Claudia, like, I want some damn order in this piece. She gets up, take her damn glass. And the spoon starts hitting it, and this bitch starts breaking the glass all over the place. So, they like, okay, this, she said, she's like, look, this has nothing to do with us, okay? This is Cynthia and Portia talking, I mean, Cynthia and Phaedra talking. So, Phaedra, is there anything that you wanted to say to, to Cynthia? Phaedra's like, I 
ain't got nothing to say to her. And King is like, see, Phaedra, I just really want to, I, I think you should really listen to Cynthia because she is coming from a genuine place. And I understand how you get because when I try to talk to you, you shut down. You don't listen. And I really just want you to listen to her because I, there were times that I really tried to open up to you, but you weren't, you know, you just wouldn't listen to me. And Phaedra ends up like, okay, me and you, Kenya, we will have our own one-on-one -on -one talk and we will talk about it. And everybody was like, oh, even I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Because as much as we, we, we talk about this stuff, I do I don't want them fighting all the time. Like, I, I would like to see them have more fun times, you know. It don't have to all be about all the time, the drama, okay? Let's let's have some fun times, all right? I, want, I definitely want to see them having fun. So, that was good. Next episode, they are going to have a talk. Um, Cynthia, hopefully she forgive your ass. <laughs> but it ain't gonna be the day, okay? Phaedra's, Phaedra is 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 really pissed with Cynthia. She has a reason to, cause Cynthia, that was none of your damn business, and you knew what you was getting yourself into. Even your husband, Mother Peter, has told you that you should not. Go and, and, and sit there and put out that lady's business like that. But you did it anyways. But, uh, yeah, that was it for this episode. They're getting along. King and Fed are going to talk next episode. And, you know, I, I can't wait to see what happens. So, y'all, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Jasha, and y'all be easy. Peace.